The Nintendo 64 is one console you can almost certainly have games that you will never see outside of that console. Let's take a look at the virtual console for the Wii U and the Wii. So this is the list of the Wii U N64 games. There are far more standouts on the Wii Virtual Console, but that is, of course, due to end this month. With that being said, without an N64 Classic, the Retro Tank and the N64 are a match made in heaven. And here are our test games. Cruising USA, this wonderful Hot Wheels game, Conquer, and of course Goldeneye. So let's see how they look using the Retro Tank. Hit points playing the game. You know what? This one really looks good on here. Yay, Retro Tank! That's all right. The N64 controller doesn't help. I was doing pretty good earlier. Yeah, now, now I'm doing terrible. This is not someone out of the way. Oh, dang. You just destroyed a fire truck. <laughs> he, he destroyed a bus. <laughs> so I'm not even going to have to make it the third. All right, hit points playing Hot Wheels now. This was recommended to me by Joe at Play Raven, and it does not disappoint. Go ahead, hit point. And we're not going to play Conquer very long. And there he is. And there I'm flying and falling. Boom. Conquer went boom. I will say this about an N64. Given the fact that it used cartridge, you don't have to wait for anything. And, and I cannot stress this enough, the game is complete on day one. So, to wrap this up, what do I think of the Retro Tank? I think it's okay. I bought this because I saw all the wonderful glowing reviews on YouTube. Not exactly what I expected, though. Composite? I wouldn't even bother with it, to be perfectly honest. The Genesis side is okay. I mean, Genesis is known to have pretty poor composite, but you know what? The original NES doesn't look that great either. But there's other options you can play the NES. I got the Classic, and then of course um, you can always get the analog, you can always get the retro USB. There's so many different options for that. Same deal with Super NES, but that does have S-Video. Genesis is the only one up until the analog SG that comes out that really doesn't have a better way to look at it short of a mod. So, thinking about it, the S-Video is the other option that makes some of the consoles I have, like the N64. The N64 in particular, because how else are you going to output to a capture card that requires HDMI? It doesn't support RGB natively, 
So you can't even use the HD retrovision cables with it and now put it to something else altogether. And uh, really you're stuck with this video. Also the games haven't aged too well, but there are some that you may want to play that aren't available anywhere else. It's not exactly what I thought. I bought it thinking it was going to be like an A+. I'd give it a B plus out of the whole letter arrays because it's not perfect. I will say this, I communicated with Mike Chi who created the thing and he was extremely helpful. So props to that guy and the fact that he's, he's he backs his product definitely means that if there are future iterations it may do things that we no, have no expectations of at this point but the possibilities are endless. So. That's just my thought, but what do you think of the Retro Tank? How many of you have actually played with them? How many of you just bought it purely on the concept of seeing it on a video? Let me know in the comments below. Have a good one, and Happy New Year.